This is Sherada Center in the central area district of Abuja, the Federal Capital Territory. The venue of Atiku Abubakar declaration for next year presidential election. As you can see, the venue is filled up to the brim. While declaring his ambition before a large crowd of supporters, former Vice President Atiku Abubakar says he has what it requires to bring together the best brain in Nigeria to address many social economic problems confronting the country. Atiku said his passion for purposeful leadership and good governance are the driving force. I have what it takes to bring people together and turn things around for better. Therefore, I want to play a leading role in the transgenerational efforts to save this country and improve the lives of our people. With the support of millions of Nigerians desirous of change and the hard work by all of us, the APC shall form the next government of this great nation. The former Vice President attributed numerous challenges facing the country to leadership vacuum. He cautioned that the leadership of the country should no longer be subjected to experimental drive or learning on the job. However, I believe that it is the responsibility of my generation to offer our political shoulders to the new generation to climb up, improve their vision, and expand their horizon. It is this transgenerational collaboration and partnership that represents the best model to create the future that we desire and serve. This is a well-tested model. The future of this nation should never again, never again, be subjected to leadership, experimentation, or learning on the job. Meanwhile, a member of all Progressive Congress from Lagos State, Adeliji Adeli, testified that Atiku Abubakar can lead Nigeria into the next political dispensation. The party has put together a program that we believe in that can change and fix Nigeria for the better. Having done that, the next thing to do is to get somebody who we owe is not only winnable, that can win the election, electable, that can be elected, but also somebody who has the teamwork, the democratic credentials to implement those things. Is, uh, so many programs are fine, but we need somebody, we need somebody who can implement it. This article has done in the past. Can he be elected? Yes, he can. He has network all over Nigeria, in and out of APC, in and out of the country. He has a network. It's so much like the late MK Wabiola. With Atiku Abubakar declaration, the stage is now set for many other aspirants to declare for the presidency under the platform of the main opposition party in Nigeria, All Progressive Congress. From Yadra Center in Abuja, Muiwa Bamdele reporting. In a bid to ensure that internal security operations in Nigeria are void of human rights violations and are in conformity with international best practices, the Office of the National Security Advisor, in collaboration with the European Union, through his Instrument for Stability program, has organized a two-day training workshop on Civil Military Cooperation, CIMIC, for the Nigerian Armed Forces and other law enforcement agencies. The training workshop, which is aimed at boosting capacity towards effective compliance with the provisions of international humanitarian laws and international human rights laws during the military operations, is one of the ways the Nigerian government would ensure that armed forces and other relevant security agencies are of good conduct in ongoing counter-terrorism operations and other military operations in the future. Speaking during the former opening of the workshop, the National Security Advisor, Colonel Sambo Dasuki, retired, represented by Major General Babatunde Samuel, retired, charged participants to take the training and discussion seriously in order to have a better understanding of the training support program. These activities will be supported by a team of Nigerian consultants 
who have already been made. Serving and retired military officers and members of the academia in conjunction with the EU experts. You all have been carefully selected to participate in this project. The head of the European delegation, Ambassador Mike Arion, represented by Mr. Alan Monday, charged the participants to be up and doing as civil military cooperation is an existing framework for the promotion of the human rights when security forces are interacting with local populations. The main objective of the security forces are to perform those missions in protected life of the populations, which is all over the world the main goal of all the security and armored forces, of course. If we want to um, act and react in a proper way against insurgencies and terrorism, we have also not only to protect lives of the populations, but also to uh, improve the well-being of those populations. On completion of other trainings that the participants will go through, they will be inaugurated as members of the interagency. On the completion of other training that the participants will go through, they will be inaugurated as members of the interagency community in December 2014. Well, it's a welcome development for the armed forces as a whole. It's not something entirely new. I want to say the military has before now been imbibing some of this, you know, light agility. We have something like this going on. But then, like I said, it's a welcome development that with our foreign partners, you know, to take it to another level. And it's going to have a lot of impact on the operations of the military as a whole and other security agencies in that it will enhance the already existing cooperation we have in trying to take our civilian counterparts along in our operations. And uh, whatsoever we are doing, the cooperation should must be, we must ensure that there's a good cooperation between military and civilian. You can see even right from in, in the hall now, you can see civilians there. Everybody has to do his own bits. Internal, internal military operations all over the world is usually not void of some infringement on the rights of civilians. It is in this light that the Office of the National Security Advisor, in collaboration with the European Union, is organizing a two-day training workshop for military officers and civilians alike to ensure that these internal military operations are void of abuse of human rights. From the Defense College in Abuja, Nigeria, I am Festus E. Jiroge Nefife for Ben Television News. Three opposition parties may adopt President Goodluck Ebere Jonathan as their sole presidential candidate come 2015 general election. National Coordinator of Goodluck Initiative for Transformation Gift Engineer Chinedu Obalama made this known in a press conference in Abuja, Nigerian Federal Capital. We already have three political parties who have said that they are going to adopt the president and uh, we are having our rally on the 30th in Lagos. We are launching our office there and they said at Tafawa Belewa Square on, on the 30th, the leaders of these parties will come out to openly declare that they have, they are going to adopt President Goodluck Jonathan as their presidential candidate for 2015. They will run for other elections, the parties will run for other elections, but for the presidency, they are standing for with President Goodluck Jonathan. And so, if those three parties are able to do that on the 30th, we believe that other parties will see reason to adopt President Goodluck Jonathan as the sole candidate for 2015. Meanwhile, the opposition party, or Progressive Congress, APC, had criticized the decision made by the leadership of the ruling party, the People's Democratic Party, PDP, to adopt the incumbent president as a sole candidate for the election. We have a president who has a transformation agenda. He's yielding results. Let's allow him on his second term. There is no president in Nigeria that has not run a second term. So I don't know why President Goodluck Jonathan's own has become an issue. Is it because he's from a minority? We are all Nigerians. So if, if every political party does that, it will help us as a, as a united nation. It will send a big message to the whole world because everybody knows that President Jonathan is not the kind of person that intimidates anybody. He's a free-minded person and he listens. So if Nigerians come together and rally around him and say, we're giving you a second time enough, it will make him work more for, for us. Engineer Chinedu also called on the opposition parties to toe the line of the ruling party, PDP, and adopt President Goodluck Ebere Jonathan to save electoral costs, avoid bad blood in politics, and also engender development in the country. From Abuja, LM Chukwemeka reports for Ben TV News.
The Nigerian Deposit Insurance Corporation, NDIC, has said that 93.646 billion naira have been paid to the depositors of failed banks in its 25 years of existence. According to the, the NDIC's managing director, Omar Ibrahim, a cumulative amount of 6.825 billion naira was paid to 528,277 insured depositors of 48 deposit money banks that was liquidated. While for the closed microfinance banks, the cumulative amount of 2.756 billion naira was paid to 858,000 verified depositors at, as at August 31, 2014, respectively. In regards to the microfinance banks, uh, like I said, we have two segments. The first tier, if you like, of about 186 of them, I must say that we have paid more than 50% uh, uh, of what is involved. Uh, for the second set, which we commenced, I think, about four months or so ago, we paid less than 50% uh, uh, of that. The state of the Nigerian banks, uh, I will say, generally speaking, we all know that a lot has been done to inform the banks. One will say that they are fairly steady and strong. Like I just told you, we have people recorded some domestically uh, very significant uh, banks that are playing uh, their roles in financial intermediation outside the country. I believe the, uh, there is a lot of improvement in terms of governance, in terms of uh, uh, risk management, in terms of uh, you know, uh, deposit, uh, levels of deposit, in terms of uh, non-performing loans. And you are all witness to the uh, huge profits the banks have uh, earned. Meanwhile, Nigerians and the general public have been warned to be wary of wonder banks which offer much watering deposit interest as they are out to defraud members of the public. Awesome Raffle, Ben Television, Abuja, Nigeria.